in this article, you really report on a new approach to addressing a key data integration and data mining challenge in the protein kinase field. Hi, I'm Dr. Natarajan Kanan, Professor of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology here at the University of Georgia. My lab at UGA is really focused on the grand challenge of mapping the relationships connecting protein sequence, structure, and function. Protein kinases are enzymes that regulate a diverse array of cellular processes in our bodies by functioning as on-off switches. And so in, in our genomes, we encode about 500 or so of these, of these enzymes, and a dendrogram of how they're related in primary sequence is shown on the left here. This is called a phylogenetic tree of all the human kinases, and it's also referred to as the human kinome. And obviously, because of the importance of these enzymes, there is a major effort in targeting them for drug discovery efforts. And although we've made great progress in targeting several of these kinases and, and uh, eliminating their functions, there are still several of them that are really understudied. In, in, in other words, we know very little about what these uh, kinases do. So in this paper, we sought out to really answer an important question of can we eliminate these understudied kinases by leveraging the massive amounts of data that we already have on some of the well-studied ones? So to address that, we really expand on a tool that we've been developing for a number of years called the protein kinase ontology. So the protein kinase ontology is nothing but a knowledge graph that integrates different data types in a way that computers can read and humans can understand. So in this case, we're connecting sequences about protein kinases to the pathways they're regulating to the expression levels in different cancers and the drugs that they're binding to. So by really linking these different data types, we're able to really mine the wealth of knowledge in very unique ways. And uh, we've uh, demonstrated in this paper that by integrating these different data types, we can eliminate some of the understudied kinases. One of the tools we report in this paper is this protein kinase ontology. You can access the protein kinase ontology through this link, prokino.uga.edu. And if you click on this tab on, on the left-hand corner, you have all the information um, uh, that you need to get a broad idea of what this ontology is about. Uh, so in particular, if you click on this About tab, it gives you the versioning of the ontology and all the publications and the data sources and the complete schema for linking different data types and, and resources. I want to just very quickly highlight to you a couple of tools that, that most researchers interested in kinases might be interested in. One is the search utility, where one can search any kinase of interest. So for example, if I'm interested in the human cyclin-dependent kinase 2, I could sim simply search for that kinase and uh, if I click on the top link, uh, you, you, it takes you to a page where you get a, a variety of information related to human CDK2, including the different names, the cellular localization, uh, their expression, uh, and uh, the sequence. And uh, in addition to the various cancer types that they're implicated in, what we've really added in this newer version of the ontology is this a, a visualization tool called the ProtVista Viewer that allows us to look at uh, protein structures and alpha fold models of these kinases in the context of the annotations that we have added for, for every human kinase, such as uh, the sequence motifs, the ligand minding motifs, and the interaction interfaces and such. So this is an interactive viewer, so people can essentially click on some of the annotations and that gets interactively displayed here. In this case, we're looking at some of the ligand binding motifs close to the drug binding site in, in the CDK2 kinase domain. So this is a tool that we believe would be of value to researchers interested in eliminating some of the understudied kinases, as well as uh, characterizing some of the well-studied ones. I'd also like to now uh, illustrate to you mining existing data through this language called the Sparkle query language. Because uh, the Sparkle query language uh, is, is unique to querying uh, ontologies and knowledge graphs, 
Uh, we've already pre-written several of these queries, so bench biologists can just click on these queries and run these queries without having to learn the query language itself. These queries are organized in, into multiple different categories, depending on what the researcher might be interested in. So in the context of this paper, we've written several queries related to dark kinases. So these are the queries are just depicted in simple English language here. So for example, if you wanted to find all uh, the top 10 dark kinases that are um, implicated in human cancers and that have mutations, um, you could simply sort of look, click on that tab and, and see the Sparkle query displayed on the left-hand window. And then if you wanted to just run this query, you could just execute it and there you go. You get the list of dark kinases that are frequently mutated in human cancers. And as you can see, PAC5 is a dark kinase that's one of the most frequently mutated uh, kinases in, in, in can various cancers. So this is an important result that we describe in the paper. And one can actually uh, formulate a wide range of other queries by either directly uh, modifying the, the Sparkle query here or by uh, choosing the query of interest from uh, the list of queries that we've already written. So in summary, in this paper, we really report a, a valuable tool, we believe, that would be critical in investigating the functions of not just well-studied kinases, but, but also dark kinases. And we've demonstrated through the application of the tool that we can gain new insights into understudied kinases and uh, the impact of mutations on, on drug binding through both integrative data mining and some of the visualization tools that I've shown in my demo. And one can also formulate and test new hypotheses through this integrative process of Sparkle querying and uh, hypothesis generation and, and testing. Um, so moving forward, uh, we anticipate uh, employing the ontology for a variety of other applications by integrating other data types and sources. Uh, in particular, we're excited about the possibility of using Prokino for machine learning applications, particularly in leveraging some of the advances in large language models and integrating them with the knowledge graph uh, for, for integrative mining and, and querying. This work was a collaborative effort between my lab at UGA and Dr. Christoph Koschut in the School of Computing and was supported by funding from the National Institutes of Health, particularly by the NIH Eliminating the Druggable Genome Consortium. Thank you again for watching this video and reading our paper.